YouTube, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is 360 Degrees with me, Richie Roger. Here we take a look at what's trending in the world of entertainment and pop culture and who trends in the social media streets. Today, um, there's something that I've always found so ratchet. That's Club COVID KE. And I'm going to be telling you why this is coming to a very dramatic halt next. Vlogger Arthur Mandela, popularly known as Extian Della, spent part of his week at the DCI offices of his popular online show dubbed Club COVID. He wrote on Instagram, just got summoned by the DCI because of Club COVID, currently at the DCI headquarters, he said. Three parents sued the blogger over his explicit Instagram live show Club COVID, seeking to have him stopped from airing the late night show with immediate effect. According to the three parents, Club COVID does not only affect them but also affect other parents and citizens. It is really unfortunate that I have, uh, I have to end this live. Uh, because it's not it's not sitting right with a lot of people. I just got a call right now that has requested me to end this live because it is not promoting the right morals uh, to Kenyans. We are not doing what is right. Tunachafua watoto. Della had earlier in the week said that he will not be airing Club COVID because of the battles he has been fighting behind closed doors. He wrote again on Instagram, Hey guys, unfortunately I won't be able to come back today or this week too. A lot is happening behind the scenes. Lots of battles being fought will keep you posted. Thanks for the support, he wrote. The blogger was accused of broadcasting obscene materials in his show. He has also been accused of reportedly engaging young girls before the show, then later raising funds to pay them. Axton brought the idea of the raunchy show from Canadian rapper Tory Lanes, who was the first to bring on this type of entertainment to social media users through his quarantine radio show on Instagram Live. The blogger was ordered to cease and desist from live streaming Club COVID on his Instagram page with immediate effect, but he declined. Well, I guess that's why he's being summoned. So I've been asked to stop this or else I'm going to face, to face legal action tomorrow. I might be arrested because of uh, going live and just asking girls to, uh, to twerk. I've gotten a very serious call, <laughs> by the way, guys. So, uh, yeah. So Xandela spent, you know, some time at the DCI headquarters and of course what we talked about we know it's all about club COVID and I just want to say a few things about it before I dive too much into it. First of all, those parents, who are, why were they watching club COVID? I don't presume they're the target audience unless they are and why were their kids subsequently watching it at the same time? You know, I have so many questions about it because by the time parents are coming, of course they've watched it, you know it is ratchet, but I'm not trying to defend him, but that content was airing in the wee hours of the night. Don't kids have curfews anymore? Like kids need to have like their time to sleep. Okay, so it, it's not in def in his defense, but I'm also questioning the parents. I'm like, you were watching. Mm, you must have been the target audience, right? But I think we we can have a double standard society where we have watched worse things. Okay, like for me, that's ratchetness at its finest, and I must admit. Some of those ladies breaking eggs on your rare area, you know, putting, you know, messing with cucumbers and onions and red pepper, I, I was like, that is too much. But also in the same breath, like people are going through really hard times. So people would do anything to make that buck. And of course, some have bills to pay. It's just an unfortunate situation. I feel like on one hand, he's not really wrong. On the other, I get it when it comes to the law and, you know, you know, anything that has to be broadcasted on the interwebs in the cyberspace has to be, you know, appealing to the eye a bit because that was the ratchetness at its finest. All right. I, I really want to know what you think. So what do you think about that particular club COVID situation? Interact with me in the comment section below. I just want to know, like, want to see where your head is at. Um, but uh, Exxon is a hustler. Okay, um, he has known and mastered the social media space for quite a while and some time. So of course he will come back with something else bigger and better. But I understand 
especially dealing with the Kenyan legal system and the police, it's very hard to fight the government. Chief sponsor, Andrew Nyangoon. <laughs> that man has a lot of money, man. So, because these girls were winning to the tune of 3,000 US dollars, 2,000 US dollars, 1,000 US dollars, that's 300,000, 200,000. And there are some people who are winning like Kidogo money as well, but I'm like, you know, they've rained on someone's parade as the government somehow, and I get people trying to be entertained because people are bored. But also, parents, keep your kids, let your kids be asleep at 12 a.m. What are they doing awake, you know? Um, it's that classic situation of people want us to parent their children for them. You parent your children, shield them from that content or educate them from thing, against things like that so that they are aware that these are things that are there in the world and they know how to, you know, cope with that. Because Kenya is one place where adult entertainment is such the most in Africa. I find that to be solicitation though somehow. But then again, <laughs> that's my opinion. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, interact with me in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications button to get notified every time we upload new videos. I'm Richie Boja. I'm out.